I guess in uh, Hollywood, I'm kind of known as a two-bit actor, you know? Like I've done a bunch of commercials, a couple of guest stars here and there. I've had good luck as a TV host, so I've been somewhat successful, but no matter what success I've had in my career, my mother has never been satisfied with it and has always been convinced that she's going to do a better job managing it. You know, when Zach left for college, he went to Los Angeles, he promised me I would go to the Academy Awards by the time he was 25. He promised to take me to the Academy Awards. It just never happened. You need, you've no, there's no crappy manager. So about two weeks ago, my mom calls me. Uh, she got fired from her job in Tucson, Arizona. She'd worked there for 12 years. And she was upset, so she came out here to stay with me and my family. And while she was here, she was like, you don't go on auditions, you don't do shit. What's your manager doing for you? I want to be your manager. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hire my mom as my manager. I mean, honestly, my last acting job was playing Boba Fett at my son's Star Wars five-year-old birthday party. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It's kind of already happening. Well, I hired my mom as my manager. This will probably end so bad. Screw the manager, get a new manager. That's all I can tell you. So I have hired my mom for one year and I've set her loose on trying to make me a star in Hollywood. I'm from New Jersey. People get things done there. Jews go for Jews, for God's sakes. These people like Kevin Costner, Bradley Cooper, they're not even Jews and they're famous. And Steven Spielberg, I'm making a call to him immediately. It's ridiculous. Oh, this is Barbara Selwyn from Tucson, Arizona. I need to speak with him, please. Well, can you have him call me as soon as you can? No, I'm not going on one of your massive call lists. He needs to call me soon. If he doesn't call me soon, I'll be showing up or calling you every day, 15 times a day. He'll tell me I'm harassing you, but I'm gonna be calling. I need to speak with him. Thank you, bye. All right, so Saturday's my daughter's two-year-old birthday party at the park, and we invited a bunch of friends who, you know, have daughters and sons the same age. I'm starting at the birthday party. There's always a bunch of high-powered directors and producers at his kids' birthday parties. Uh, most of them are just friends, people I would never even think about approaching about putting me in their projects. And I'm gonna ask them, what is wrong with you? Why can't you put my son in a movie? If you got a break, give him a break. That's what life's about. Excuse me. Hi, I heard you did a movie this summer. Yeah. What was it about again? Uh, it was about three kids going to Africa. And why didn't you put Zach in the movie? What kind of thing is that? Well, you, you could have put him in the movie. It, it really wasn't about adults. It was about did you get a break one day? Did you get a break one day? Um, How'd you get him? Did you get a break one day? Didn't they have an older brother? Oh, give me a break. Where are you really? going? Jesus. I mean, you're like... This might have been a bad idea. Oh, unknown caller. It must be Spielberg. Hello? 